Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the difference between two DAX functions, max and max x. In Power BI, max and max x are frequently used for calculation, and although these functions look similar, but the way they operate is significantly different. First, let's look at max function. It's a very straightforward aggregation function which returns the largest value from a single column and the syntax is max of the column name. On the other hand, maxx is an iterator function meaning it evaluates an expression row by row for a table and returns the largest value of the result. So basically the key difference is max performs on a single column and maxs performs across rows. Now, let me first explain the difference between these two functions with a very simple example. So, let's look at the data here. So, here I am showing by the student's name their marks in different subjects. If you want to get the largest value of this column or this or this columns, you have to use max function on this columns individually. On the other hand, suppose you have a requirement where you have to basically calculate the max of the grand total values. So for that, what you have to do is you have to use maxx function and the maxx function will basically evaluate the expression where you will sum these three values row by row. And at the end, it will show you the largest value. So basically at row two, it will first take the sum of this three, then it will go to the third row, it will take the sum of this three, then it will go to the next row, it will take the sum of this three. So likewise, it will go to each and every row and it will take the sum of these three fields and then it will return the largest value. And if you see here, the largest or the max value is 274 and that's what the maxx function will return. First, we'll see how max function works. So max is basically, for example, as I have already mentioned, if I want to see what is the maximum number scored uh, in physics or math or chemistry, I will use max function. So I have already created this measure. So it's a very straightforward one, just max and the column name for chemistry or for for maths you have to select this marks in math or for physics you have to select max of marks in physics and that's all and as you can see here for example if i sort this field marks in physics uh, by descending order you can see the first row is showing 95 that means the 95 is the largest value and here also max physics is showing 95 then if i sort on this field again you see 95 is the largest value and here also for max math score it is showing 95 and then for chemistry if i sort I see 96 and you can see here this is also showing 96. So basically as you can see as per the definition it is showing the largest value at the column level. Now let's move on to maxx and see how this function works. So see here as I have already mentioned if I want to see the largest value of the grand total of all these three subjects then how can I do that. For that I have to create a measure first. So go to new measure. Let's name it as max x underscore total marks. So now I will use max x function. So max x and the table name is student marks, then comma. And now I have to specify the expression that max x function will evaluate at each row. And my expression will be marks in chemistry plus marks in math plus marks in physics and that's it and i will add this measure to this table and also i will add this to this card view okay now if i apply sort on this field you can see the largest or the max value is 282 and this is what i am seeing here let's apply some filter on name so let me just randomly uh, select some filter okay and see here out of all these five students the max grand total value is 276 and that's what i am getting here so this is what max x function works again just like sum x function if you want to pass some conditions you can do that now, for example, I want to show the max or the highest uh, grand total value only for section A. For that, let's create a measure. And let's name it as 
section A total max. I have to use max x here, so max x. Here I have to use filter function and specify the condition. So my condition will be okay. Filter, then the table name is student marks, comma, and my condition is section equals to A. This filter function will return a table but only with the rows where the section equals to A. After that, I have to specify the expression. And that is marks in physics plus marks in chemistry plus marks in math. The maxx function will basically evaluate this expression only for the rows where the section equals to A. That's it. So now my measure is ready. And let's add this measure to this card view section A and also. Let's add this to this table view. So see here for section A, we have 282 as the highest uh, score. So that's why it is showing 282. Uh, likewise, let me again create another measure where let me just copy this calculation and I'll create another measure where I will uh, filter the table for section equals to B. So just rename this to B and I'll just change this filter condition from A to B and let's save this. And let me add this measure to this card view. Also, let me add this measure to this table. So now see here out of all these values, you are seeing 274 is the highest grand total. And that's what this measure is showing. I hope now you are able to understand how max and maxx functions work, how they are different from each other, how differently they operate. So that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.